So we're finally joined on the show by Afropop sensation Kane Solo. Now he juggles being a pharmacist and a musician. Uh, definitely, of course. Um, Grooveland uh, was his debut album with uh, singles like Kung Kung and mm. All Mine. Mm. Now here we're here to talk to him about what he's been up to. Yeah. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Thank you, thank you. So yeah. uh, you know that that so that Kung Kung was the first one that got to us and all of that. Let's mm. let, let's talk about that particular. That was in your debut album, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah let's yeah. talk about that album and that particular that song in particular. Mm. What was oh. the process like putting it all together? What inspired that particular single? Okay. So you see, um, Kung Kung is a song that we made at the peak of our album making process, mm. right? So we had like the majority of the albums on the of the songs on the album they were ready, but we felt like we still needed that that extra spark, mm. you know. So we actively went for the extra spark, okay. and that's how Kung Kung came. All right. So the whole idea behind the song was, you know, we're trying to encapsulate that feeling of being under a love spell. Mm. Yeah. So that's mm. the whole idea. So the idea of being put in Kung Kung is the idea of being under a spell. <laughs> yeah. What are your thoughts on love, generally? On love? I believe in love. Mm. Yeah. In what ways? Well, I believe that love is a beautiful thing that everybody should experience. Mm. Yeah. So, when it comes to love and music, you know, which one is more important to you? I feel like um, music is an expression of love. Mm. You know, it's, it's, it's a, a language that everybody understands, just like love. You get me? So, and also music, in music we sing about love a lot. A lot of our songs are about love. So I feel like both of them are intertwined. Mm. You've had to balance out being a pharmacist and being, you know, a musician. Yeah. So which one do you love more? You can't, you can't love, you know, I see that these two things now have become equal parts of who I am. Okay. So I don't see myself loving either one more. Yeah. Are you still practicing as a pharmacist? Yeah, and yeah. All of that? How does the, how does that play out? What who's who's a who's a pharmacist? Well, what does he or she do? A, a pharmacist is someone who takes care of the drugs that go into this into your system. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. So are you are you the one that are you are you the one that <laughs> ensures that it's the right drugs, or you're the ones that ensure that the, the right prescription mm. is what you <laughs> what you get from maybe what came and all of that? You know, okay. Because people tend to miss those lines like, okay, ah, pharmacist, I mean, is he just a <laughs> chemist? Oh, what? <laughs> I know. People tend to blur those lines. Yes. Yeah, so That's why I just wanted to express there, There's something that. we call um, pharmaceutical care. Mm. Okay. So it encapsulates um, reading the prescription, mm. okay. filling the drugs, mm. and ensuring that you take them in the right way, and also following up after you've taken these drugs. Mm. Okay. Right. Mm, okay. So that's the role of a pharmacist. That's the whole process. Yeah, well, so right. we ensure that you're fine. So a pharmacist ensures that the drugs that go into your system mm do the right things that it's supposed to do. Mm. Yeah. So I, I have to think about your, your family now and you know your home front and where you came from. So when you told them yeah. that, you know what, I want to do music yeah. with being a pharmacist, it's, yeah. it must make your family really, really proud. Yeah, well, you know, you know, in the African setting, there was some pushback. Mm. Mm. You know, my parents were like, yo, why do you want to do this? Why don't you mm. just go to the office and mm. work? And I'm like, you know, music is so, it's a passion. It's a spirit. If I told myself right now that I don't want to make music anymore, I want to just focus on pharmacy, I wouldn't be at peace. Because mm. I have these songs that they are screaming inside me, so I need yeah. to let them so know. So it doesn't matter if you make money from them or not? It matters. I need the money too. I mean, everybody mm. likes that's right. so I know, True. But yeah. now, if you didn't, if it was a case whereby yeah, money yeah. was not going to come from yeah, music, would course. you still do it? Yeah, yeah. I wake up, I wake up, I make songs. Like, on my way here, I wrote like two songs, like two oh, hooks. Wow. Okay, yeah. okay. Wow. Yeah. I kept them. So when I get back to the studio now, I'm going to work on them. All right. mm. yeah. I, I think it's amazing, and I think the quality of your music videos also so far, like we just saw one now. Um, talk to us about your thought process with videos. Okay, so uh, with videos, I have like a team, mm. like my friends. Mm. So we just brainstorm. So whenever we have a song, we always just using some outlandish ideas, some mm. really, really crazy ideas on what the video should be like. Okay. So and then when we have all these ideas out, then we put them together and then we hash out the most feasible one. And then we take that one to the director and say, okay, how can you give us this? What can you do for us? So that's usually how we make videos. We always, most of the time, we come up with ideas okay. ourselves. Yeah. There's a, there's a song titled mm. Grace, yeah. I believe. Yeah. Do you want to talk to us a bit about that? Oh, yeah, Grace uh, is a song that 
it's a, it's a spiritual song. Mm. You know, it's a song about uh, the grace of God in our lives. Uh, that's a song that it was on my previous tape. Okay. Yeah, and when we made that video, we were trying to show peace and love amongst everybody from mm. the old, the young. So if you check that video, there were some kids, there were some older people. Mm -hmm. And you know, that was the concept of grace in that video. Okay. The grace that passes from the young to the old. Mm. Amazing. Yeah. What's your, what's your own idea of um, spirituality as per se, or religion? religion? What does it mean to you, or spirituality? I feel like we can't exist without it. Mm. Yeah, that's what I believe. I believe that in as much as we exist in the physical, we are immensely spiritual beings. And mm. anybody that tries to deny that is denying himself or herself. Mm. I'm wondering where your influences are. Who are they? The artists that positively influence you and your music. Okay, we'll start from the Godfather fella himself. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, then we have Oliver the Coke. Uh, we have Whiskey, because Whiskey is like everybody's daddy, you know, <laughs> in my generation at least. Uh, we have Davido. Mm. Um, we have Burner Boy. Mm. So I see them like three gods. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, then I've been inspired by Drake, mm. um, Kendrick Lamar. Amazing. You know. So when you talk about Fela, a lot of people are inspired by maybe um, the, other, the other parts of his lifestyle. Um, I remember when um, Shane was saying something about how his activism is what a lot of people have not really, you know, they pick Fela, they pick the music, they pick the lifestyle. But that, con that thing that he stood for, that thing that made him who... He is because yeah. you know he's still larger than life now. It's something that a number of artists have not really, you know, um, yeah. have picked on, on on all of that. That the activism part, the part that says, "Look, I'm there for the common man," and all of that. You know, people. It's the other parts of Fela that they are. Yeah, yeah. You see, Fela, Fela agitated for a better Nigeria. That was his goal. That was his cause, and he pushed it with ginger. You know, so what I have learned from that is that. Whatever I think you're pushing, push it with serious ginger. Okay. You know? okay. So, that's so how... the things that I believe in, are people that know me know that I go hard for them. All right. Mm. Yeah. All right. Okay. I like we'll, <laughs> we'll definitely be checking that out online uh, on your pages, of course, online.